Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. This question has come up a couple times recently. Clients have wondered if they should make a chart of account account or an income account for each of their own clients so they can see how much revenue they get from their clients. I don't think it's a good idea because it'll make your profit and loss super long and super messy. So I just wanted to walk you through a couple of reports that you can use to identify how much money are you making from your clients. This will be an alternative to creating an income account that says client one and client two and so on and so forth. So let me just show you real quick. Within my QuickBooks Online, I'm just going to expand my left-hand menu. I'm going to click on Reports on the left-hand side of my screen. In Find by Report Name, I'm going to type in the word Customer. Save these different reports. Profit and Loss by Customer, that's nice, but it's going to give you a report that goes out left to right, and you really don't need that if you're just looking to see how much money have I made from my customers. So what I would look at is something like sales by customer summary. Let's take a look at that together. I'm going to change the dates on the left hand side to be all dates. I'm going to change the display columns by. I will choose run report. This will update my report for all dates. Now I have some information, but this is my sample data, so it's not very long. I want you to imagine this is your QuickBooks. If this is your QuickBooks, you're going to want to see it in descending order. You're not going to want to try to look through it to figure out who's buying the most and who's buying the least. Real fast way to do that is to come over here to the blue sort and to say sort in descending order. Now that I've got it sorted in descending order, if I wanted to adjust my date range, I totally could. I would recommend going to the upper left hand corner, clicking on the drop down for all dates either choosing a predefined date range or selecting custom and entering the actual date range that you want. Let's go back to reports and we'll just take a quick look at our other options. I really think that's the one that I would use, sales by customer summary. There's income by customer summary. Let's look at that. Oh, actually I kind of like this. This isn't what I had in mind, but income by customer summary will obviously show you the income. That's what we had a second ago. It will show you the expenses you have assigned or allocated to that customer and then show you the net income for the customer. So that's pretty good. Let's go back and see if there's anything else to consider. So um, transaction list by customer, that doesn't seem very helpful. Um, it's just going to be a transaction list, right? Like, sure, this is great. I don't like this as much. So again, this is just an alternative to putting all of your customer names on your profit and loss, where I have bookkeeping, consulting, sales of product. I see some people that want to put all their customer names here so they can see it. Really, I don't think it's your best bet. So I thought I'd make a video to show you some options. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions or if you love the video, please let us know below. If there's anything my team or I can do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks.